Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be previewing a couple of figures that will be dropping in the future. This is actually based on the Japanese version of Figure Fantasy. This actually will just inform you of what is in store for us in the future, not really on when they are dropping. At least you have a, you know, a, a preview of what to expect um, in the couple of months down the line. Okay, so in this video, I'll just be covering Defenders, Vanguard, and Helper. This is actually just a part one. So let's start with our first Defender. Okay, guys, so our first defender is Okada Ayane. So she is with Galatea. Much needed help uh, in the defender category. So she is actually S tier. Her attack um, deals additional damage if the target is frozen. Then for her ultimate, it's a damage over time. Every 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds randomly has a 70% chance of freezing for one second and also has the ability to have an additional shield and increase defense okay passive is if the figure of an ally hp becomes 50 percent or less uh, uh she gets a shield and also gets 10 energy actually the ally gets gets the gets the shield okay and also for her special it's going to be 25 percent chance damage that will be reduced um, 25% chance that there will be damage reduction by 50%. Okay, just want to fix actually what I'm actually reading. So, <clears throat> moving forward, she's going to be a good addition to Galatea. Um, again, much needed firepower. Galatea right now is pretty much very underpowered and she could really turn the tide for Galatea. And take a look at her 2D art, guys. What a... What a beauty to have for your team. She actually uses her own gaming or small gaming console or mobile console. So she's probably a good gamer. So let's move on to our next defender. Okay, guys. So for our next defender, it's going to be Izumi in a bike, which has only one wheel. So what do we call this bike? It's a monobike, monoped, mono, I don't know, but it's a single tire bike. But anyway, she's with Snow A, uh, Snow A and she is with, uh, she is S tier, by the way. Her attack, guys, is damage buffs if she uh, damages her buffs, uh, sorry, buffs her damage if she is shielded. Um, her ultimate is going to be, um, she has two forms, by the way. She, have, she has a defender form and a vanguard form. For her defender form, she uh, has 30% of HP converted to shield. And vanguard form, after attacking four times, gets a shield and receives 30 energy. Allies in the same room receive a shield as well. Okay, so for her passive, uh, crit rate increases while shield is active. And her special... Defensive form, 25% chance uh, uh, that damage will be reduced by 50, 50%. And at Vanguard form, recovery rate, HP is restored after a dodge. Okay, so again, another impressive addition to our list of figures. Hopefully, we could, you know, we could get these in the near future. And let's take a look at her 2D art. Again, very, very good uh, art and very high high in detail as well. So let's proceed to a couple of vanguards that we have. Okay, so first on our vanguard list is going to be Kizuna. So she is Galatea and she is going to be S tier. For her attack, guys, it's an increase in normal attack. Nothing too special. But for ultimate, damages a target three times. And also adds damage over time every 0.5 seconds and also provides damage negation her passive is going to be ally attacks in the same row and uh, has a 20 percent chance to attack the target as well so any ally that is in her you know in in her row will have you know an opportunity to attack your target uh, at 20 percent and her special uh, is going to be evasion and hp recovery so this is again another welcome to Galatea for S tier, and um, by this time I think Galatea will have enough reinforcements that she will be uh, Galatea uh, brand will be stronger and can compete with the other brands. So let's take a look at her 2D art again, uh, mostly similar to what she has with her 3D art. 
but again a um, nice art to have okay next on our vanguard we will proceed okay so what we have here is rin so rin is tenma so she is classified as a tier attack so increases normal damage so very simple but her ultimate is multiple she deals multiple damage for five seconds freezes the target and damage increases as well okay so her passive is a 50 percent chance for continuous attack ignores defense and hp absorption I'm, I'm sure she's going to be dealing a lot of damage um to the target right in front of her and her special guys is going to be evasion and hp recovery so again for for tenma my thoughts on her is she's going to be a welcome addition um especially if she's going to be vanguard um the current vanguard which is albert i don't I don't think um, he's going to be better than her. Um, I think she is going to be she she's going to be overpowered in terms of the damage that she will be dealing, um, and this is a great help to Tenma moving forward. Okay, let's take a look at her 2D art and look at that pose and really love, love to get her for my Tenma team. So let's proceed to the last uh, Vanguard in this list. Okay, so the last vanguard in this list is going to be Date Masamune. So she, uh, he is Gal Galatea A tier. So attack, uh, her, his basic attack has a chance to stun. Ultimate also has a stun. Decree, uh, damage decrease of about 10 to 12 percent. Energy recovery and uh, reduction of enemy energy. So he can reduce enemy energy. Take note of that. That's important because energy is used to put out your ultimate. Next is going to be his passive. Um, deals additional damage. Um, that's just his passive. And for his special is also evasion and HP recovery. This guy is going to be very good in terms of his ultimate. In terms of the reduction of any uh, enemy energy. And again, I welcome a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of support for Galatea at this point because they need really a lot of new heroes. Um, hopefully that, you know, we get them as soon as possible. So we're going to be proceeding to our helpers. Okay, so the only helper that we have is Zhong Liang. So Snow A uh, in terms of brand, S tier uh, in terms of rating, and uh, Zuliang attack is increases normal damage, so very basic. But his ultimate is healing uh, effect of enemies is reduced by 40%. So he takes out healing of your enemies and he reduces it Bur and also does burning damage. Okay, for his passive um, buffs uh, adjacent to uh, buffs adjacent allies as well. Grants a lantern that guards against le lethal damage and turns it into a shield. Okay, a lot of protection there for his own allies. And for his special, 24% crit damage increase to adjacent allies and 10 energy after getting a lantern. So again, he's a good support um damage uh, as or uh, healing reduction to your enemies and also guards against lethal damage for your own um allies and also adds energy to them so he is with snow a tier again we we at this point i see only a few healers and uh, only i think two stand out really in the bunch but again, for support, we need different kinds of variety at this point. So this is going to be good at uh, reduced healing for enemies. And I'm sure he's going to be a crucial part of your lineup because he prevents lethal damage as well. So let's take a look at his 2D art. Okay, 2D art, special and very detailed. Um, just like the 3D art that he has. Lot of lanterns in that 3D art and 2D art. So that is it, guys, for the part one for the future figures. So for those of you guys who have stuck this far, please um, please subscribe. Um, this really helps my channel a lot. And also, guys, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any figure fantasy uh, videos in the future. Also, don't forget to put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.